Okay, good morning everybody. Welcome to Tuesday, Tuesday, right? It is Tuesday, I think it is. And we're going back out on the landscape job today. Hopefully, we're gonna be able to get a stump grinder. So we're going back out onto the job if we're able to get that piece of equipment. Ain't gonna have no tractor today, so it's just gonna be wheelbarrows and backs. Put your back into it. We're gonna be wheelbarrowing what's left of the material. And even though it's not a whole hell of a lot, it's definitely gonna be something, that's for sure. I wanna get this job knocked out. There's some gutter work that we need to do as well too. I don't know if I can get all this equipment over there. I should be able to. Yeah, I should be able to. We got the trailer. So I need to get a ladder. Need to get a little bit of gutter guards and that'll help us get the gutters squared away. The gutters are not sloped correctly and plus they get filled with debris. So we're just gonna put some screens on top of this one section of gutter. Nothing too major to that at all. Interesting thing I wanna share with you guys. So yesterday we were over at the flip house. We got done what we were attempting to do. And man, it was um, stressful to say the least. You ever have one of them situations where you wonder to yourself, why the hell did you even open that can of worms? That's what it was yesterday. I was talking about the water pressure in the tub. Water pressure wasn't even that bad. A little on the low side, but well enough. Like good enough that it worked and it worked properly. But me being the stickler trying to make sure everything is just perfect, I go opening a can of worms that really turned into, man, really turned into a situation. So real quick, let me share with you guys what happened. You take the, the handle off and then there's some adjustment valves behind the handle that can help you open it up and make the water pressure a little bit higher. So that's what we did the first time to fix the water pressure situation and it worked. So I go to try to do that again this time and I accidentally unscrewed the screw way too much to where the screw actually came out. Now I'm trying to catch this screw that's three pieces. One part is a screw, one part is a spring, one part is the spring loaded bushing or whatever the hell this piece was, some copper bushing. <laughs> Once this thing fell out, we had a nice little water leak. So I'm trying to deal with that. So we cut the water off to try to deal with the water leak. And I put that three piece screw in the windowsill. Tell me why as soon as I put it in the windowsill, part of it, well, the whole thing fell out of the windowsill. I put the whole thing in the windowsill, the thing falls, the whole thing falls out of the windowsill into the tub and part, the bushing piece goes down the drain. <laughs> I was losing my shit. There was no way to get this. No way at all. You can't take the drain out. The only option was cut the drain. I literally had to go to Lowe's. Well, I went to Lowe's. This is how we solved that problem. I went and got this really thin pair of needle nose pliers. And luckily, after about 40 attempts, it was like playing one of those claw machines. Luckily, the bushing didn't go all the way down the drain. When it, when it went in the drain, it just sat right there. So I put some screwdrivers there to try to block it from going any further. And I got these thin needle nose pliers. And after about 40 attempts, I got that thing out. So... And guess what, the water pressure, it's only just a tad bit even more now. So, good enough. I ain't messing with it no more. Sometimes you can do too much and screw everything up. Another thing I wanna share with you guys, hey, another flip house just became a possibility. I'm gonna share more with you guys on that a little bit later, but I need to get this trailer loaded up. I need to get some equipment, go pick up Damon, and then go see if we can get this stump grinder and head out to the landscape job. Let's make it a great Tuesday. Thanks for rocking with me. Let's go. Well, Sanford and Sons, eat your damn heart out. All right, so we gotta leave our trailer over at Home Depot because, bang, stump grinder flex. Just got a chance to try this sucker out. And I'm gonna tell you right now, ain't no job too big or too small. This stump grinder's about to do it all. Also got everything else loaded up in the back of the truck. We ready? Gutters, stumps, beds, barrels, Damon. Let's get it, dude. Back to the landscape, we're gonna finish this job. Oh yeah, and we are officially lost money. That was $309 for the day. Freaking crazy. All right, let's go make it happen.
All right, crazy how now we're just dropping her off. 340 something dollars for five hours. Damn it, man, they do the four hour and they do the 24 hour. And I don't know what the difference in the price was, but damn sure ain't give us no break on that damn thing. I will say this, that thing definitely made the job a hell of a lot easier. We're disconnected, yep. everything. Yep. All right, made the job a hell of a lot easier and definitely lost money on the job. Shut up, truck, I hear you. We had to leave the trailer up here. We're gonna pick the trailer up and that's it. We got the job done. Looks really good. That stump grinder weren't nothing but the truth. They don't care, they don't even check the stuff. Hey, a full tank of gas in it? Yeah, sure. I could have put that thing back with no gas. And ain't nobody gonna check at all. All right, let's get this trailer loaded up and see where else we end up at. Hey, what's going on? Oh, God, it feels good to just sit down for a minute and just hang out with the doggos. Oh, gosh. You guys are so, you guys are so adorable. You're so adorable. All right, so yesterday we got the landscape uh, work done for the most part. We got one little thing left to do. We were putting some gutter guards on the gut, one gutter that was getting a lot of debris in it and we didn't have enough gutter guards. I thought I bought more than enough, but we didn't have enough. I ended up buying the extra that we would need to finish that and we'll just bring it back when we go do the landscape job. That's gonna be in a, about a week. So, we went out there yesterday with the stump grinder. The thing was $309, actually $349 with the $40. Uh, damage protection on that money and we got that job finally knocked out lost a little bit on that job I mean yeah I lost a little bit on that job but it is what it is we definitely ended up with that looking way better than it was when we had that Yanmar tractor out there and I'm happy with the fact that we got it done we got it all leveled and it was only one bed and that still took us till what like two o'clock in the afternoon yesterday so we got there at nine took us five hours with a stump grinder there was a lot of stuff that was in that bed but neither here nor there i want to wrap this video up and what i want to wrap this up with is the fact that yo i have potentially found another flip house now this has basically just been dropped in my lap. It's not even a guarantee at this point, but wouldn't it be crazy if it is? Over at the Flip House, we're getting ready for things. Things are moving over there at the Flip House. We've got the inspection lined up for the buyers. That's gonna be happening very soon. And hey, we're under contract, I've mentioned that. But while I was leaving, the neighbor came up to me and he was digging through his phone and I thought he was getting ready to show me some pictures of maybe something taking place over at the house. And turns out he pulls up a phone number. He says, hey, take this number down. I take the number down. And what this was in reference to is a house. It was a woman who, I guess, has been left with a house because two of her brothers lived in this particular house and both of them died like two days apart. Sadly enough, both died of COVID. I don't know how long ago that, that, that this happened. I'm hoping, you know, for the sake of things that this happened a while back because I did try to reach out to this woman after going and looking at this house. And let me just share this with you guys real quick. I said that I didn't want to do another two bedroom, one bath house. Well, folks, this house is a, another identical house to the first two flip houses. Except if we were to get this house, it's probably gonna need a major clean out first. Definitely needs HVAC, it looks like. Definitely needs an electrical upgrade, it definitely looks like. This house has a carport on it and it has an actual garage in the back, which, you know, the first two houses, they didn't have either of those things and it has a decent size yard. Ironically enough, this house already has vinyl siding on it. It's not the greatest uh, looking metal flashing or whatever that is, the, the wrap that goes around the wood at the top, the, the facial or whatever you call that. That looks pretty bad and I don't know anything about what we could even get this house for. Now, I did reach out to this woman already and I kind of felt bad doing so. I reached out via text and the first thing that I said is, hey, I'm sorry to hear about your loss. I did not want to come across sounding like one of these we buy houses, sleazy people. 
But the reality is I probably did to a certain degree. I said, hey, I'm sorry to hear about your loss. I was given your number by a neighbor. I don't know if the neighbor talked to this woman about me potentially getting the house. And, you know, he said to me, he said, you were the first person I thought of to tell about the house because I've seen the work that you've done at the first two houses. I thought that was very nice. If some kind of a way we end up getting this house, I'm gonna do things even more different than we've done with the first two houses. And what I mean is, is if I can get the house for the number that I want, which is 35 to maybe like 60 being the absolute highest that I would go on this house that needs new HVAC. I would probably try to put an addition on this place. Instead of a 2-1, let's turn this thing into a 3-2. That's what I would try to do. I'm going to have my contractor's license, so I should be able to do that, maybe. I don't know how that would play out, but I would try. And seen it happen a couple of times already on that street, and it seems like it's turned out pretty good in terms of the profit line. That would be the ideal situation with that. But I don't know, you know, that's an up in the air situation and who's to say what's gonna happen with that. Not putting a lot of eggs in that basket, it's just a potential. Couple of things, on Zillow, they say that that house is worth 95,000. On another website, they say 85,000. So I know if somebody's gonna sell the house that they're gonna want the max for it, but the problem is it's not worth what they're saying on these websites. And if you go to try to sell it, Ain't nobody going to pay you that price. There's a dude who was an investor who just paid $82,000 for a house that's not worth it at all. I, I was talking about that house. It's across the street. And he's got to rent that house out for like a couple of years to even get some money back before even thinking about trying to do the renovation work over there. It's just not worth it. So we'll see how it plays out. I'm gonna wrap this up. I don't wanna make this any longer than it already is, but I wanna tell you guys, I got two ideas for videos that are coming very soon. Uh, one is I want to share with you guys how I do plan to find the next flip house in this housing market crisis where prices are, are to the to the moon and people are paying ridiculous prices even for for investment properties how I personally plan to go about it and maybe this will be insightful to some of y'all out there that's one video idea and then the other one is the things that I learned from flip house too I want to thank you guys for taking the time to rock with me and I will look forward to sharing with you guys even more moving forward. Thank you so much for rocking with Joe Does Stuff. I really enjoy doing things. I like going out here and busting my ass and working hard. And even if I lose some money on a job, hey, it's okay because I got a great customer who, you know, you have to do that. You, you got to make them customers happy. You got to do a good job for them customers. And sometimes it's just going to be like that. Have a great one. I look forward to talking with you guys again real soon. And until next time.